Hello, welcome to my not so original YouTube channel called Holly Agambar. If you haven't guessed, that that is my name. So I thought I'd kickstart my new channel with a Q&A, you know, break the ice and all that jazz. I sent out a tweet earlier to everyone to see if um, anybody would want to ask me any football related questions. I thought that'd be quite a good way to get this channel running, kick it off. So the South Citizen 284 has asked, who has been the best foreign striker in the last decade in the Premier League? Oh my days, what a question. Well, it's not going to be Salah. That's for starters. Not just because I can't stand him, but he's only been here for a couple of years, so I can't really say Salah. I'd say, I don't know, Aguero. I like Aguero, to be honest. Aguero is my geezer. People are probably going to disagree with me, but I'm going to go Aguero. So Jason at JJ Season has said, who is your second team? And to be honest, I don't really have one. I wouldn't say I have a second team. I, I'm Tottenham through and through. Like, if anybody knows me, I literally know nothing about any other football team apart from Tottenham. <laughs> it's a tough one. Like, living in Southampton, it's not Southampton. I think I'd just choose Pompey to piss Southampton fans off. <laughs> go on then, we'll go Pompey in my second favourite team, so to speak. And then Jay Sabber has asked, if you could change one thing about the World Cup, what would you change? Can't be England winning it. Well, of course it's going to be England bloody winning it. I don't want to change anything else. Actually, no. I'll tell you what, I'd want to change the refs. Because they are shite. I'm sorry, this is the highest standard of women's football. And we've got shit refs. I'm all for all women being refs, but they can't be all women if they're shit at refing. I'd rather have the highest standard. So if that means we have to have all men refs, I'm all for it. Especially in that Cameroon game. The ref literally got pushed and she just was laughing at it. Yeah, so Jay Sabo, if I was to change anything, would definitely be the refs because they were shocking. I am Mex TV at as a X. I hope I've said that right because I'm no good with names. Has asked the goat or Ronaldo? Now, I'm guessing the goat is Harry Winks. Messi, sorry. It was going to have to be Messi for me. Like, I don't know, I don't like Ronaldo's arrogance. Yeah, okay, if you're good at football, you're going to be arrogant about it. But Messi's good at football and he's not arrogant. So, for me, for me, for me, X, it's got to be, it's got to be Messi. Ollie at Ollie underscore football said, how long have you been playing football? So I started playing when I was 11. The funny thing is, my first game for the school, because it was mixed boys and girls, I scored a worldy goal. Like, it was top bins volley but it was in the wrong goal so when i was 11 or 12 and i started playing club football when i was about 12 13 the real phone jacker at the real phone jacker i like it it's consistent favorite Tottenham player in history oh my god how are you supposed to pick a fave like Tottenham player in history like i started watching like what properly watching because obviously i didn't take an interest into football till i was in year six so probably and Ledley King or Jermaine Defoe. I still love Jermaine Defoe. I don't know. I've, I'm going to either go for Defoe or Bale because Bale was the first player I was like, Jesus Christ. He's phenomenal. He's my favourite. For going on old, old, like, when I first started watching Tottenham, favourite player would be Defoe. Maybe all time I'm going to say Bale. I'm going to go for Bale. What player would you most want Spurs to sign Summer of Wild. That's from Mickey K. Mick Kellner. I think I've had it. I mean, I, I was so happy when uh, <laughs> Clark got announced. And then I was like, oh, this is a Tottenham thing to send him straight back on loan. And then the dollar. I mean, it's it's clever in hindsight, but it's such a Tottenham thing to say. And then when the, the, the Dombele came out, I was like, oh, we've got two goats in the middle of the park now. We've got Sissoko and we've got the Dombele. Now, I don't know. Is it Cabellos? I can't say his name. I'm very good at names. But um, I packed him on FIFA yesterday. So if anybody's going to come through, it's got to be that. Because that's fake. I don't get anything on FIFA. H at Lindelof. Season underscore. I said top four predictions next season. Ooh. City. No, I'm not going to go City. I'm going to go... As much as it pains me to say it. Liverpool. City, Tottenham, and oh, I don't know who my fourth. I want to say Chelsea, but I don't think it's going to be. I feel like um, 
Frank Lampard's gonna do bits, but I don't think he's gonna do that much, that many bits. <laughs> it's a tough one. Definitely go Liverpool City up there somewhere. Tottenham. I don't really come third because three's a magic number. It seems to be these days. I'll go. I'll be optimistic. I'll go Chelsea. I'll go Chelsea. Oh, this is a good question from Pat McChrystal at Pat at McCrystal21. I'm liking that app, man. It's, it's snazzy. Who would you rather have kept and why? Bale or Modric? Now, going back to previous when I said Bale was one of my favourite players, it's going to be weird if I say Modric now. Modric was an absolute baller. He was like, a, I want to say better Ericsson, but I feel like I'm going to get stabbed. But um, he was just a playmaker, weren't he? Sh like everything came through him Dan Modric because we've got Sonny now and we've got pl like players that will run at people because that's what Bale did and if we lose Ericsson we're gonna need that playmaker again so I'll say Modric I'll say we should have kept Modric uh Sadio at oh Mane Mane thank you for letting me say that on camera cheers <laughs> what emotion did you feel during Tottenham's Queen's League run Oh my god. I was a wreck, mate. That's what I was. An absolute wreck. No, um, what a roller coaster. So obviously that City game was like, I don't know, the Ajax game was worse. Because, so it was really funny. So I was watching it at home and I was for the last like half an hour pacing up and down in my living room and my parents were like, for sit down for Christ's sake, we're all making us anxious. I saw the ball get lifted up and I was like, no way is the tree Lorente going to ping that down. And I saw him touch it down and then Lucas, I was like, oh Jesus. And then the way it just slotted in in like literally the last second, oh my God. Madness. And then that City game, I was on the floor, I chucked shit when that goal went in from Aguero. And then they was like, Holly, you, you do realise it's gone to VAR? I was like, pardon? <laughs> what? And I came back in and then I saw that it got disallowed and... Jesus, I've never celebrated so much in my life. And to have that penalty decision in, in the final, that was it, I knew it was over. As soon as that went in, it was like, there's no way that's turning around. I don't even think, on another matter, I don't even think, like, I know FIFA rules are different to FA rules and all that crap, but how is that a handball? There's no way that he's looking to, like, play the ball in. He's just seen his arm up, do you know what I mean? There's no intention to play the ball, but... I'm not going to speak too much about Liverpool because um, I remember the person that's asked me this question is a Liverpool fan. <laughs> At Seb Balos N17 has asked, would you take Bale back? And reasonings. Yes and no. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, yes, because I loved him when he was at Spurs. Um, he was my favourite player without doubt. I had like posters on my wall of him because... You know, as you do, I still have posters on my wall. <laughs> um, but no, because, I don't know, I just, I can't say he's, I can say he's um, injury prone, because he is. But when he came on and did that bicycle kick um, in the final, you can't not say, oh, wow, how, why would you not take him back? <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it's a tough one. So, um... It's a bit of a shit answer, isn't it, really? Yes and no. So, Jade, at Puxy, number one, <laughs> has asked your ultimate five-a-side team. Now, I'm guessing, Jade, you mean as in, like, if I was to set one up, who I'd want in my team. So, for starters, it'd be you, me, Jeje Sison, Lee, Manhood, and I reckon Cousin. Cousin Ben with all those flicks and tricks up top. Scoring top bins, I reckon, I reckon. But um, so yeah, no, thanks everyone for your questions. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a good one. Um, keep your eyes peeled for more. I'm probably going to do next time how I feel about the new signings, which should probably be really good, considering Harry Winks is uh, signed till 2024. I'm not too fussed about babies, we'll talk about that. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment. Thanks again. See you next time. Adios.